Hello, my YouTube friend. As you know, last week I started selling online through Macari and I've had a blast. I've had a ton of fun just packaging stuff up, communicating with people, trying to think of what I want to list online. Now, I haven't done a lot so far. I think I sold maybe 15 items so far this week, but I'm enjoying it. This is actually really nice to me. I haven't really enjoyed packaging stuff in a long time, but because I'm packaging for you guys, it actually, it brings a lot of joy to me. So I enjoy that. So I want to do a lot more of that. I want to get a lot more things sent out to you guys. So I've come up with a plan to help you get stuff for free just to try it out. And hopefully you like it. In the comments below, I'm going to have a link to Macari. Now, if you're a first time user and you haven't signed up before, you'll get a $10 credit. That $10 credit you can use on any thing you want to buy you can even get an item for free and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to list a whole ton of stuff in my macari shop that has a ten dollar price shipped so basically if you use the link you get ten dollar credit then you can use the ten dollar credit on anything that i have that's for ten dollars shipped i'm going to be putting probably a lot of dorbs some mystery minis uh other assorted items occasional funko pop now with shipping and fees i only get like three or four dollars an item so I can't put too many pops up, but I'll occasionally throw some pops up there for you guys as well. Because here's the thing though, if you use the link and you get $10 credit, I also get $10 credit. So I'm happy to lose a little bit of money on each item as long as people are signing up through the link. Because then I get the credit and then I'm going to use the credit. I'm going to return the value to the Funko Pop community and actually buy Funko Pops off of Macari. And I'm going to do like a big mega haul. So my goal is to get 100 people to go through the link. If 100 of you guys go to get something free from me, basically using that link, then I'll get $1,000 credit and I'm going to use that. I'm going to do one big mega haul. Or if it's bigger than that, even better. So I want to visit my shop, just kind of show you the kinds of things I can list in case you see something else that you want me to put on Macari other than Funko stuff. It could be Blu-rays, it could be comic books, it could be almost anything. Also, before we go to the shop, I want, if you want to just support the channel, and you're not really looking to buy a Funko Pop or an actual item, I'm going to make up this cool little artist trading card. It's going to be one of my robots. I'm going to draw a robot face, and then I'm going to sign the back and write Pop Fun to Play, and I'll put that up for $10. So basically, if you want just a cool little Pop Fuzz card that with original artwork by me that I signed just as a little memento, you can basically get that for free as well if you use the link to get the $10 credit. So I thought that would be a cool way for anyone who wants to support my channel that doesn't actually want to buy a toy, but wants a little memento with my signature, I'll be putting those up for you guys as well. And if a lot of you guys want those, I might end up doing some more intricate artwork or just doing something else for you guys to enjoy. Let's go through the shop and let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you want me to list. All right, let's go into my shop. All right, so... You just have to let me know if there's anything that you want me to list because there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, I could probably put one of these pouches up for $5 free shipping. I could do sets of two or three cute pens. I got all kinds of little cute pens. I can put these up, these little uh, window knocker things. If you see, there's a few dancing in the window. They're solar powered. I could do a trivel. Let's see what else. I could probably make a little lots of comics, maybe two or three comic books from your favorite title. I could do that. I mean, I have a lot of records. I, I can't really put expensive records, but I could put some of the cheaper records. I have tons of DVDs, just quality DVDs. So if you want me to put up a DVD like Pulp Fiction, I could do that for $5 plus shipping. I maybe even do a couple of lots of two. More DVDs over here. Oh yeah, and then in the front of the store here, I have a whole ton of Blu-rays. So if there's any cool Blu-rays you want, I could put up a bunch of those. Those would probably be like $5 each plus shipping. Uh, okay, let's go over here. Let's see. I got a lot of pops. Now, pops usually cost more than 10, or like $10. So those I probably can't put up for $10 with free shipping or, you know, $5 with $5 shipping. But I could probably find a couple pops. So I'll put up a, a few pops that I'll put on Macari. Uh, I have video games. I can list video games. I can put up uh, CDs. If you guys are into music, you tell me what kind of music you want. I can make two or three CD lots that I can put up. Uh, on this wall here, I have a lot of really cute stickers. So I could do lots of like three or four sets of stickers for $10 total shipped. And then I have erasers, these Japanese erasers. These I sell for a dollar each, so I could probably make lots of like seven for $10 with shipping. And then uh, trading cards. I have tons of trading cards. I could put pack lots up if that's what you want. Uh, dorbs. Tons of dorbs I'm willing to put up for $5 plus shipping. So that there will be plenty of. Uh, I have a lot of older trade paperbacks. I could do lots of like four or five of those 
for ten dollars uh let's see what's over here if you guys want any of these cool little dig kits it's basically their plaster where you scrape away and you get an object it might be like a fossil you look their original fossil or a piece of pyrite or some fossilized poo or some crystals i think those are really fun little things i could put those up uh let's see what we got i got cheaper dvds these i could probably do like sets of four at a time for ten dollars shipped just it's you know good stuff but not as popular stuff and then let's see uh over here we got cars i could probably do one and two car lots for ten dollars shipped i have these cool old vintage this is a joker poster and riddler poster this i could probably actually both those i could probably put up for like ten dollars shipped uh board games are probably too expensive uh if you like vhs tapes I have a whole ton of VHS tapes. I love selling old VHS tapes because I just think they're really cool objects. So I could do cool little like five tape lots for $10 shipped, maybe six or seven tapes. And then let's go over here. Over here is a whole bunch of stuff I still have to sort, constantly sort. Oh, I have a lot of hero clicks. If you want me to make up little hero click lots, I could probably do three or four for $10 shipped. I got some weird vintage figures. I could put all kinds of little oddball stuff like that if you're interested in it. Uh, books, I could put up cool, uh, lots of two or three books of different genres. So if you're interested in books, I could do a genre lots for you. You just tell me what you're into. Uh, cassette tapes, I actually have a ton of cassette tapes. So I could do little three or four cassette tape lots for $10. Over here, more books, board games, books. Go up. Oh. Okay, over here I have a whole ton of TV box sets or better little compilation box sets. So if you want me to list some of these, these I usually sell for five to eight dollars in the shop. So I probably could do one or two at a time in lots. And then I have some Criterions and some better Blu-rays. I could probably put a lot of those up. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, just let me know. Uh, all right, let's look over here. I got skateboards. I still have a whole ton of stuff I have to sort through. Still working on that. Uh, over on this shelf, I have a lot of little toys. So if there's little toys like this, I usually sell them for two or three bucks a piece. So I could probably do lots of three or four if you're kind of interested in that kind of thing. Uh, okay, I got trolls, dinosaurs. Uh, probably I have these little dice packs. These are cool. These I have at seven bucks. So I could do probably like $10 shipped on those. Um, let's see what we got here. I got a cool little Dark Side of the Moon tin poster. that I have it for $8, so I could probably do that $10 shipped. I also have these journals that I sell for $11. I might be willing to put one or two of those up for $10 shipped. I could probably do some like magic card lots if you're into magic cards or Pokemon lots. I could do some Pokemon stuff. And then, let's see, in the case here, I just have a lot of minifigures and some better stuff. So a lot of these are kind of more, I mean, if you're interested, I will put them up because even though $10 is kind of the range of stuff that's free, if you use the $10 credit, you could still use the $10 towards a $20 item. So if you want a more expensive item at a discounted price, I can put that up as well. I have this original Falcor. This is cool. It's from Argentina. Super rare. That's like 200 bucks. I could put that up. Uh, okay. And then down here, I just have a whole bunch of figures and stuff. Oh, I also have a bunch of mystery minis. I could do lots of three or four at a time for like 10 bucks if you're interested. And then, uh, uh, okay, let's see over here. Over here I have comic books. These are better comic books, so I could probably do lots of one or two better comics. That are in, that's, you know, this one I have at $5. So I could probably put that and maybe another comic book in a $10 lot. So this is all the like $7 plus comics in there. Uh, in the case here, I have some better cards. Like I have these 1980 football packs. I got them at 13 bucks. I might be willing to do that for like $10 shipped. So I might do some of that stuff. Uh, okay, packs of cards, pens. Again, we got pens. I also got a couple original paintings of mine that I would like to sell for 200 bucks. If you want those, let me know. I'll put that on Macari. I also have some better action figure type stuff. I could put that on Macari if you want. I just, I would put it up for the price I have at price plus shipping. And uh, if you're interested, I could do that. I also have a lot of buttons. I have these Rick and Morty buttons, David Bowie buttons, Pink Floyd buttons, Adventure Time buttons. Steven Universe buttons. I could probably do lots of six of those or so at a time for $10 shipped. Also more mystery minis. I can put up a couple of these at a time. Also have a bunch of these vintage 1990s Hot Wheels now. I could probably do two of those for $10. 
and I think I have a few action figures I might be willing to put up for 10. So if you see any type of thing that you like that I have in my shop, if you want me to list it, I will put it on Macari for you. I'll have a lot of $10 stuff for you guys so that you can get it for free if you want. And I can put more expensive things if you're interested. Just let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to put on Macari. Okay, so what do you think about the stuff in my store? Did you guys see anything that you want? Uh, just let me know. This is all about communication. You gotta let me know in the comments below what you want me to list, what kinds of things interest you. I want to try to get as many things listed that you guys actually want. I don't want to just sit there listing stuff all day and no one wants it. I want to get like hundreds of items there that you guys actually want. And hopefully you'll use that link so we both can get a little bit of credit towards it. Okay, so now I want to do some shout outs of everyone that bought stuff for me in the last week. I really appreciate everyone that ordered an item. And I want to show everyone everything that I've sold on Macari in the first week of selling. First, I want to shout out to Pablo in North Carolina. He actually just bought a complete set of six of my robots. So happy that he bought a whole set. That's awesome. And it's really awesome to me that he's getting a complete collection of them. I'm go I haven't signed them yet, but I'm going to sign every single box. Okay, let's go through everything else that's sold. I sold a glow-in-the-dark pop fuzz to Dominic in Orlando, Florida. So let's package this up. Take a couple sheets of bubble wrap and make it into like a bigger sheet so I can wrap it all around. Tape that together. Okay, I'm gonna take this. So usually when I wrap up a toy like this, I don't just fold it up like that. What I try to do is I try to roll it into like a little bit of a roll so that the end is more cushioned. That way it's more so that the box doesn't get dinged. The Pop Fuzz robot has a really sturdy box so they don't really get damaged. They're not like pop boxes that get crushed very easily. And once again, I kind of roll it up like this and then I tape it. Okay, so there I have it in like a bubble wrap bundle. Then I take a solid box, put it in the box. The box is a little bit bigger than the Pop Fuzz. I have some packing bubbles that I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna actually put it in the uh, the bottom under the robot like this. That and then a little bit on top. I don't want to pack it too tight that crushes the box, but I want to put it strong enough that it doesn't move around too much. So we got the bubbles in there and let's tape it up. So we got this all packed up. Tape it like that. Tape it like this. I'm gonna tape the edges just so the box doesn't get caught on the edge. Also, I like the, I've said it before, but I always like to tape a box around like this just to give the box a little more strength. Now, I'm reusing a box. The box was previously taped on the bottom. I'm just going to add edge tape just to strengthen it a little bit. And since this sold on Macari, all I have to do is cut out the shipping label and tape it on. I just printed on a piece of printer paper, so I taped the bottom or the top. I taped the top and then the bottom. I taped the bottom. Then I taped the sides. There we go. I taped the sides and then I put one tape across the address just so that if the box gets wet or something, the address doesn't get destroyed. All right, all packaged up and it'll go out in the morning. Okay, I'm packaging up one of my seven Funko Pops for $50 mystery boxes. They're, some are a little bit damaged. Uh, most of them are like new, but I, cause I call it like a damaged pop box just because there might be a couple that have a little bit of dings on them. But uh, I try to make her a lot that I think she'll like and uh, and hopefully she loves it. So I'm going to package up. I'm going to use a, I have a region C box, which is pretty big. So I'm going to put six of the pops in one of these shipper cases that Funko Pops usually come in. And and the seventh one, I'm going to put in one of these pop sorters so that every single pop inside the region C box has a box. So it has double protection. Like usual, I put a piece of tape around the parameter just so that the corners are stronger and the box is less likely to bust out of seam. Because honestly, I've had so many boxes arrive with the corners, like the whole edge is busted. So this is one way I try to prevent that. Oh, also this is our Region C box, but I'm just shipping it regular priority mail. So I'm just gonna put priority stickers over the Region C part. So this box is a little bit tall. I think I have like three or four inches taller than the actual pops, which is good. It gives me a little bit of room to protect it. First thing I'm gonna put is some packing peanuts in the bottom, just to give it like an inch of peanuts to protect the bottom. 
I usually use uh, bubble wrap to do this, but since I have extra packing peanuts, I like to recycle them when I can. Now the box, the box only has about half an inch on the sides. So I'm actually going to fill that up with a little bit of bubble wrap, just so that it's less likely if it gets crushed, it just protects it. Normally if it's a smaller box, I would try to leave a space and just let it move around. But since this has a lot of space, I'm going to fill it up a bit. Okay, I put a little bit of bubble wrap around all the sides. Might put a little teeny bit there. Then I'm gonna fill this up with more packing peanuts. Now I don't want to pack it tight because I don't want to crush the inner content. So I, I want to kind of remove a little bit just to give it a little bit of give because I don't mind if the content moves inside because it's not fragile. It just, it's crushable. If it was fragile, I don't want it to move. But if it's crushable, I don't want any pressure on it. I just want to cushion it, but leave enough room for it to move a little bit. Yeah, so there's there's a little bit of airspace. Like it's some people stuff it with packing peanuts to the point where you can barely close it. But you don't want to do that. You want to have a little bit of room because I don't mind if it's moving inside because everything's in boxes. I just don't want if something happens where the box itself gets crushed. I want a little room to crush. Whereas if it was packed really tight, if it gets crushed, it'll crush the boxes inside. Okay, let's tape that up. It's a nice quality box. I got extra priority stickers, so I just stick that over the Region C part since I'm not paying for Region C shipping. I'm just paying for regular priority shipping. And again, I tape it on the four sides and then I tape it through the middle to cover the address. You gotta leave the barcode scannable so that the post office can scan it easily. The tape sometimes reflects too much, makes it harder. And there we have it. That's how I package up the mystery box. I wanted this arrive safely. In the end, I'm probably breaking even on these boxes. I'm not really making money, so I want people to be happy. I don't, I don't want people to be sad. Okay, I got another mystery box. This is going to be a $100 value box that he paid $80 shipped for. It was Justin from Virginia, aka What's Poppin'. He ordered a box to unbox on his channel. So I'm excited to see his reaction. Now, I uh, the total value of the pops I pulled are like 105-ish. I tried to put it a little bit above the $100 because some of the boxes are a little bit beat up. I tried to focus on better pops than the actual value. I'd rather give them like a $20 pop that's really cool, that has a little bit of a ding, than like a $30 pop that's kind of lame. I kind of want them to be a little bit cool. So let's, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, just in case value drops after I ship it in the next week or so, or if, you know, there's a little bit too much damage for his taste, I'm giving him a bonus $8 pop. It's bolted. It hasn't really gone up in value, but it could go up in value. So I'm giving him a little extra bonus just to cover any kind of gray zone. I want to make sure he's happy. You know, if all the pops were absolutely 100% mint, I wouldn't do that. But since they're a little bit dinged up here and there, I decided to include one extra vaulted pop. Now I'm gonna package the same way. I'm gonna put in the Region C box. And I'm gonna fill it up with extra bubble wrap and extra air pockets and peanuts and all that kind of stuff. Pour in a little bit of layer of peanuts to cushion the bottom. Okay, fill it up more with packing peanuts. All right, all packaged up. I'm hoping he's happy with it and I look forward to seeing his video. All right, I have another $50 mystery box going to Jacob from California. I'm gonna package it up the same exact way in the Region C box with a little padding all around it. And there we have another package done. Okay, so I decided to wait a day until I packaged up more of the robots because I wanted to get proper boxes. So I got some 11 by eight by five boxes. I think it gives me about an inch on each side of the robot to keep it so it has a little bit of room. But it's a Uline box. Uline is not the cheapest boxes, but it's 200 pound test weight. So it's a very strong box. Okay, I'm gonna package up a glow in the dark pop fuzz. It was purchased by Ashley in Nevada. She said that it's a gift for her husband and she wanted me to shout out Eric and Louie. Hi guys. So let's package him up. I decided I'm going to start putting them into a record bag just to give it a little bit extra protection so it doesn't, you know, the package gets wet, the figure doesn't get damaged. These are the ones that are one foot perforated, so every foot you can break it apart. So I take two sheets and two sheets and kind of make a square. Then I tape those together, flip it over. Then I put the robot kind of like at a diagonal so that I can wrap it up like this. 
I wrap it up like that. And since I'm using a box that's a little bit bigger, when I wrap it like this, it means that the corners bunch up. So basically it helps keep it, have a little bit of space on each side. So it's not right against the side. So put the pop fuzz in. Kind of fold the corners a little bit so it fits. And there you go. See, I made it so that there's about half an inch of space on each side so that the way I bubble wrap it, it kind of leaves that space but it keeps it from being right against it. So if the box does get crushed on the side, crushed on that side or punctured, there's space so that the item inside doesn't immediately get damaged. And every side, if you look even the height, I try to leave it so that there's about an inch or half an inch on each side. Because if you pack it in too tight, the item inside could get crushed just from the pressure from the bubble wrap. And if you don't have enough space, if the box gets hit and it's tight in there, the item inside will get damaged. At least that's my experience. But, and this box is also the appropriate size for this item so that it doesn't cost more in shipping. All done, solid package, really strong box, well packaged. Hopefully it arrives safely. Okay, we have a glow in the dark pop fuzz. This one's going to Paul in Texas. We have another solid package done. Okay, I have a blue pop fuzz that sold. This one's going to my patron Kate in Canada. I'm really excited that she picked up one and I'm throwing in a stack of glow in the dark stars from the Black Friday box from last year. She wanted one of these, but the shipping to Canada was really crazy. I was gonna give it to her for free if she paid the shipping, but now that she ordered a pop fuzz, I can throw it in the package. So I'm really happy to do that. Okay, we have another glow in the dark pop fuzz. This is going to T. Kesha in Florida. I hope I said your name right. Thank you for ordering a pop fuzz. I appreciate it. All right, I sold the pop fuzz. This one's going to William in Michigan. Let's package it up. Another package done. Okay, we have a glow in the dark pop fuzz. This is going to Crystal in Pennsylvania. Another package done. Okay, we have another glow in the dark pop fuzz that sold. This is going to Priscilla in Maryland. Another package done, yeah! I'm happy to be getting these done. Okay, we got a silver pop fuzz. This is bought by David in Louisiana. Happy to ship it out. Another package done. I'm actually really happy to get these sold and packaged up and shipping out. This has actually been kind of fun. Okay, we have another silver pop fuzz. This is going to Deborah in Illinois. All right, that package is done. Okay, we have a glow in the dark pop fuzz that sold to Vitaly in Chicago. I hope that's how you say your name. Thank you for the purchase. And another package done. We have another glow in the dark pop fuzz. This one's going to David in Missouri. Okay, I got that one done. Then the finally, the last item sold was another glow in the dark pop fuzz. This sold to Eric in Pennsylvania. So that's the last one for today, but hopefully there's a lot more in the future. Okay, so I'm hoping this week's gonna be a lot of fun for me. I'm hoping I'm shipping out at least 100 packages to you guys. Hopefully more, maybe two, 300 packages, whatever it is. I wanna keep communicating with you. Don't communicate with me on Macari because they have a policy where you're not supposed to have like outside communications from Macari. So just comment in the link below or send me an email or contact me on Facebook and we can communicate and we can figure out stuff that you guys want. And I'm hoping that a lot of you guys wanna get something free from me. Or you can use the $10 credit towards one of my robots you can get it for $10 less. Or you can buy a more expensive item for $10 less. Or if you have used Mukari already and you just wanna support my channel, I'm happy for you to grab some of the deals as well. And depending on how successful this is, if I get a lot of credits, I can do that mega epic call and helping support the channel, letting me do a big fun video that I'm gonna do this again. And if this is successful, I'm just gonna be looking for really cool deals to put on Macari for you guys. Cause it's not about so much making a profit with Macari because of all the fees and all that, it's a little bit harder to make a profit. It's more about having a fun experience with you guys. And if I can get a little extra referral credit, then that's awesome because that means I can do another big mega haul and I'm gonna have fun doing that. I wanna thank everyone who bought something from me this past week. I wanna thank my patrons for supporting my channel. And I wanna thank all of you guys that buy something from me in the coming week because all together, it really helps the channel and it lets me do more content. If you wanna help support me on Patreon as well, I'll put a link right there. If you wanna join up to Macari, if you haven't done yet and you wanna get the $10 credit, I'll put a link right there. And I'll put a link to my Macari shop right there and I'm gonna put a couple other cool videos right there. Thank you so much for watching, bye.